So hello guys, so I'm here once again, my new uh, video. So and on this video, I have talked about our uh, SEO project timeline. So if you are uh, a SEO analyst for your company, or if you are an SEO expert, or, or if you are into SEO, then you need to have a SEO plan for the company you're working for, or for your own company. So usually SEO is a stepwise process. You move on from the first phase to second phase, like starting from technical SEO and then going on to on phase or off phase, or, or needing to have some research before starting the SEO project. So basically, this will cover all of it. I'll explain on how uh, this SEO is done from start to the end. So here it goes. All right, so this is a template. Uh, I have created this template on working for my several clients on ACO project. So how it starts is first we have a timeline. So here I have listed the timeline for four months. Uh, so I usually start with four months and then extend it further once I keep on working. So as you could see, uh, the first is the months and the weeks. After that, there are different phases, first phase, second phase, third phase. So there are some phases and in between there is a, a project revision so that uh, you can understand where your project is heading towards or what your project is all about. So yeah, so first one uh, would be the re-engineering phase. I like calling it re-engineering phase because this is where you do the website audit, you do the UI UX check, uh, you do the page speed analysis, you also do the competitor and market analysis. So after doing all the analysis, you make a report on entire website issues or uh, the analysis. And after that, you forward it or do it yourself. You do the technical SEO fixation. You do all of it. You make your page speed fast. You make uh, your website responsive. You fix all the issues. And that's how the first phase gets done. It's basically a re-engineering phase. It's like reworking on different areas to make your website ready to work for SEO. So that's how it is. After that, uh, you can uh, you have this option where you can assign to your teammates or yourself. So you can edit it manually yourself by going to data and data validation, right? So you can edit it here and you can assign them uh, as you want. So after that, uh, here comes uh, the project timeline. You can set it up uh, depending upon your need or how you would like to work. And once the status is done, you can either say it done or you can list it like uh, in progress or anything uh, the status is on that current point of time. So after that, if you have any remarks or if it's pending or if it's depending upon others work, so you can put it on the remarks or any if there are any links to all the documents, like if, if you need to provide a document for uh, report on website issues you can link it here so that's how it's done so that's it the first phase it's re engineering phase after that you move on to the next phase which is the keyword research and analysis so it's rather important uh, to do the market and competitor analysis first and then you do the keyword and research keyword research and analysis and on this what you do is uh, you simply start off with keyword research you do the analysis after that you do the planning and you uh, put on some keyword implementation plans like whether the keyword is for blogs or whether the keyword is for uh, page ranking whether it's primary keyword or secondary keyword you can do it right here so that's how the second phase gets done so after this completion some second phase your website will be pretty much uh, on the track for ACO and then you can go on to the third phase which is the on-page ACO here you will be doing other on-page stuff like tags optimization, image optimization, canonicalization, and everything. So this is where you do the on-page stuffs. And, and after that, you do the implementation and all. So your third phase gets done. So you can simultaneously put up the graph or highlight which week you will be covering or which month you'll be covering this area, this phase, right? So after on-page, we usually do the technical ACO once again. It's like, uh, because after in on page ACO, you change different tags, different head headlines, titles, descriptions, and you want Google to start working on it. So you do 
or sitemap update and after updating the sitemap you do crawling and re-indexing so that's because uh, your new and fresh content so will get crawled by google and it will help google understand better so that's the reason why we do the sitemap update and crawling and indexing after the on-page seo and it makes sense yes so usually the common mistakes i find is that people usually do the crawling and index indexing stops initially you know, with their uh, current uh, meta tags or meta descriptions and they seem to you know uh, get delayed on uh, crawling the new on page contents so that's why i recommend uh, doing this on page aco on page on page optimization first and then doing the crawling and re-indexing once again so because you will be having a newer version of your website uh, in terms of page speed in terms of content in terms of responsiveness that's why so technical seo is needed once again so you'll also be doing some schema markup thing like structured data like site navigation or anything like that you'll also be doing on schema markup and then some set up some google marketing platforms like set up google console google analytics hotjar or anything that you require so that's that comes on this technical seo thing after that you make a content plan so that's basically making uh, the content plan for off page seo so for content plan you do the industry research for topics so what kind of topics you want to work on what kind of contents you want to create so trending keywords research so for trending keywords research you can either use google trends or any other keyword research tool after that you can also do content ideas that value roi so it's basically creating a valuable content and then uh, using some call to action strategy and trying to influence your audience to take action which is like purchasing purchasing or requesting services or product from your website so that's where the content ideas that value ROI comes and this is one of my basic things that i do two articles in blogs per week so ac optimize so it's like writing seo contents yes so uh, you can write it as per your convenience the more the articles in blogs the more uh, better for seo uh, so this is my own uh, depending upon how many hours i give so it's two articles and blogs per week seo optimized after that image seo video seo so video seo if you have anything resources videos on any of your platforms like in um, website itself or youtube so you can also optimize it and implement keywords that you have and relate it or link it with your website so that's how video SEO is done and after that you finally do a SEO project revision you revise all of these things done so far you see the technical aspects you see the page speeds you see the keywords you see the on, on page score uh, you see the crawling and indexing status and that's how your SEO project revision is completed after that you head on to the off page where you'll be working more on link building strategies you'll uh, be working on site authority building uh, you'll also work on social media marketing strategies from where you'll be uh, working mostly on uh, building links like Quora, Reddit or uh, anything such and after that uh, you also do some other off-piece stuff like guest posting, publishing, um, using some tools like answer the public for finding FAQs and writing FAQ blogs right so schema markup for anything that you want to get featured on Google search and other marketing strategies that you might have. Uh, there are lots of ways on doing off-page SEO, but uh, this, these are a few of the off-page strategies that I follow and that I do. And on the seventh page, I do a business listing uh, work. I do the local search marketing. I optimize my Google business, and that's how my off-page gets completed. So yeah, these are the phases, starting from phase one to phase uh, seven, your SEO work gets completed, but you cannot stop after all of this is done, you need to keep on continuing your office strategies. You need to keep on complementing uh, your keyword research thing. You need to monitor your keywords. You need to monitor your rank. So that's how it's get done. So all the additional learnings or all the additional efforts that you can do in between these is target audience analysis. Uh, so before writing your content, you can analyze your, analyze your target audience, which is group they are, which location. So depending upon your target audience, you can write contents and product and service analysis. For example, let's say if I have a website that focuses on digital marketing services, I might have different services in my website like social media management, uh, search engine optimization, search engine marketing. So I'll, I'll, research, I'll research and analyze each of my services 
and I'll do the product keywords or service keywords based on each services and I'll try and implement that. So that's how product and services analysis is done. That's how product keywords are implemented. You can also do in the industry specific keywords. Like if you're in digital marketing industry, you can uh, work around some industry keywords and you can also do some industry specific contents, uh, like what kind of contents is being consumed by the audience or the readers or viewers in your niche, in your audi industry. Yes. So after that, you can always do sort analysis. You can see where your business is at the moment, where your website is at the moment. You can also figure out your website's opportunities, your website's threats. So what are the weaknesses, what are the strengths? So you can do all of it. So this is how the SEO project plan can be made for any of your clients or yourself or your business, your website. So it makes you easy to plan and figure out where exactly you are and where exactly you are heading towards. So yes, guys, this is how I do the ACO project planning. So I'll provide this, uh, the link to this template on my description below. You can simply uh, click on, on the link and you can get it for completely for free. So thank you guys. Subscribe me for more uh, digital marketing tips and techniques. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you.